So Craig ran out 3 nothing victors on a cold, wet, miserable day. What did you learn from that? Well, I think we learned that nobody really particularly enjoys playing football when there's 60, 70 mile an hour games going about. Um, a really good workout for us. Obviously, we've been really limited time and with the first international next week against Australia, it was really important to get the game time out for a few guys. That's the first game they've had in four or five weeks over the Christmas period. There's not a lot of games happening at, at, at a lot of levels of football. So for, for some guys, it was just a case of trying to blow away the cobwebs. But for the whole group, it's just it's getting them to know each other, getting them playing with each other. And for us as coaches, trying to get to the more combinations of work in it where guys can play because we've, we've now seen probably about two thirds of the squad playing in more than one position. So I really worth the exercise. There's a game of two halves really, I mean the first half you were into the wind and the second half you were going with the wind. I felt the midfield really came into this game in the second half and controlled the game. Yeah, I think we had we had a lot more control of the game in the second half. Like you say, playing with the wind definitely helps it in that instance. Um, I think that realistically early doors it was just a case of, for, for a lot of guys working out you know, how to, if one minute they were playing a five yard pass it was working, they played the same pass a minute later and it, and it didn't work so it, it took a lot. As the game went on I think the fact that we had a few more bodies and a, and a few few more fresh legs probably helped us and like you say we certainly had a, a lot more of the ball, created a lot more chance. He scored a couple of goals in the second half, really should have scored a few more but the scoreline and the, the wasn't two games now, the first game against Albion Rovers with a really high tempo opposition, today they were physically stronger than you, do you think that benefits the boys in the preparation for the Centenary Shield? Yeah 100% but we're deliberately picking games against guys um, that are going to challenge them physically in the, in the way that we know that they'll face against the, the four countries that will play in the Centenary Shield so from that point of view it's really really important, we're quite lucky, quite a few of the guys are involved at senior football, probably more guys than we've had in previous years, whether it be in involvement in first team squads and in a few cases are actually playing week in week out so that side of things will certainly help us we know we've got a lot of really talented football players but there's a lot more to the game of football and the ability to, to use it up Next week is our first international it's against Australia are you looking forward to that game? Absolutely yeah and that, that's what it's all about it's, it's always good when we have the warm up internationally ahead of the Centenary Shield um, I've been involved against the Australians on three occasions and they're always a really really top side these boys come over here um, it's an opportunity for them to put themselves in the shop window. They're very, very fit and, and from experience they're some very, very talented players. So you know, it'll be a really, really tough game and it'll be really good preparation for the guys ahead of the Centenary Shield that starts in March.